Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today I wanted to do a video on my uh, morning skincare routine and kind of walk you through um, what I use on my skin and why I use those products. So I'll first uh, just show you my routine and what I do and kind of walk you through it a little bit and give you a high level overview while I'm actually doing it. And then we'll just get into a bit more details after the video. So see you in a minute. First thing I do is I wash my face with the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. And I really like this cleanser. It is for normal to oily skin, but I really like it because it leaves my skin feeling nice and refreshed and it does not make it feel tight or dry, um, which I really didn't like from other cleanser, cleansers that I've used before. So I put one pump of this in my hand, a small pump, so about that much, and I lather it up with some water, and let's get to it. So I lather up my hands, and then I just wash my face. Um, I do bring it down my neck, and I usually uh, work this into my skin in the mornings for about 30 seconds, because I really want to make sure that I'm lathering up my skin and giving it a good wash before I apply my product. So I can take off as much of the oil and sebum that has produced the night before, before I apply any of my skincare. So I just keep rubbing my skin. Whenever I dry my face, I never, ever, ever rub. I just pat. I pat my face dry, and I do like to leave it a bit damp because it helps with absorbing any of the skincare product that you put on next. So the first thing I put on my skin is the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum. Um, and I put about two pumps of this no, don't slide. So about two pumps of this, and then I pat it under my skin, down my neck, and onto my chest. Your neck and your chest are one unit. They are part of your face, and you want to take care of them the same way as you do your face, because it is really important to help make sure that those areas are taken care of so they can stay young and pretty for as long as possible. Um, the reason I like this specific vitamin serum, and I've used quite a few, I've used the SkinCeutical C Ferulic um, and a few other ones, but mainly the one I was super into was the C, uh, SkinCeutical C Ferulic. Um, but what I like about this one is that it is a similar formulation to the CE Ferulic, um, but it's at a discount. <laughs> so definitely not the same price. Um, it also, what I love about it is the packaging, which I didn't see with a lot of the vitamin C serums on the market. So what I like about it is that it's airtight, watertight, and it's fully opaque, so you can't see through it. The moment vitamin C gets exposed to water, air, or light, it starts to degenerate. So the potency of it starts to degenerate and it's not as good anymore, and it kind of like oxidizes. So. When you see the the way to look to see if your vitamin C is oxidizing is the one that I'm the one that I'm using right now. It's got like that orange color to it, so I'll show you. It's got like that light orange, bright color to it. When it oxidizes, it starts to get like that browny, deep color where it's and it has it starts having like a really bad smell to it, but you'll notice it just by looking at the color. It's just from the bright orange, it's turning into like a dark brown. And that's when you know you've lost, it's it's starting to degenerate and um, it's starting to oxidize. So I really love this particular vitamin C serum because it's got great packaging. Moisturizer. Um, currently I'm using this Obagi Hydrating Cream. Um, it, it's the first time I'm using it. It's good. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about it. Um, it has been sold out for a while at Sephora, so I haven't reordered it. Um, I like it during the summer, particularly during the day. At night, I use a totally different different moisturizer, but for during the day, it's great. It's not too greasy. Um, it 
helps my it helps with my makeup application it doesn't make my skin look nice and plump so no complaints here really like this one what i do is uh, it has a little pump here so i do one two three pumps like that um but i just put this on my face and on my arm and down the neck and onto the chest okay so now that we did the moisturizer last but not least um i apply my sunblock um i do wait a little bit for this um to absorb for my moisturizer to absorb into my skin so i usually give it about five to ten minutes and then i come back and i put my sunblock on and after that i wait another 10 to 15 minutes and then i apply my makeup so i'll give this about five minutes to absorb and then we'll apply this we're going to use the dermalogica so with sunblock i know there's people that put a little bit on like this like there i put my sunblock on no you didn't you didn't do anything you want to make sure you add like basically the rule is the length of your two fingers so about that. And then when you put your sunblock on, you want to really like put it all over your face, your ears, your neck, your chest, the back of your neck. This is what it looks like when I put on sunblock. You want to make sure that you are covered and protected. At first, it looks like I'm putting on a mask. Well, you work it in. And it does have a really nice spa-like smell, which I love so much. So basically that is what I use in the morning for my skincare routine. So um, that was uh, my actual skincare routine in the morning. Um, so now I just wanted to walk you through the products a little bit and uh, just talk about them a little bit more and uh, just let you know why I use them. So first, let's start off with the cleanser. I love this cleanser. I've used plenty of cleansers from um, Body Shop. I've used uh, the other CeraVe cleanser um, that is supposed to be hydrating and non-foaming. Um, I've used um, other expensive cleansers and I did not like them as much as I like this one. I find that this one actually removes even makeup from my skin. There are times where I just use this to remove the makeup from my skin. Uh, I won't double cleanse and it's enough. Um, it'll actually take off everything on my skin. So if you were to take a pad and try to wipe off any more makeup with a um, with a, like micellar water, there would be nothing on my skin. So I really, really, really like this product. And also I like it because it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry um, or tight, which is not how your skin is supposed to be after you cleanse it. So highly recommend this product. It's been sold out for, for quite a bit, but I have found it again and I've stocked up. So second thing I use on my skin is the Vitamin C Serum by Drunk Elephant. I absolutely love this product. Like I said in my uh, clip while I was demonstrating, how I do my skincare routine. Um, I said that the reason I love this so much is one, because it is similar to the SkinCeuticals um, uh, serum, vitamin C serum, which the C Ferulic, which right now is one of the top serums, but that one is really expensive. Like it's almost $200. Um, so what I do love about this product is that it is airtight, so the only way I can get product out is by twisting this and then pressing it the top and getting the product on my hand. So one, that avoids the touching this product to your face unless you decide to put it on like this, which I would not recommend. Um, but yeah, so one application really avoids any sort of harboring of bacteria or building bacteria in the bottle or the applicator. Um, second is the fact that it's watertight. There's no way I can get water into this. It's airtight. And lastly, it is fully opaque. Opaque means I can't, you can't see through it. So I cannot see through this bottle. So no light can get through it, which means it preserves the product longer. My next step is the moisturizer. So for me right now, I'm using this Obagi moisturizer like I showed earlier. Um, it's a hydrating cream. I think it's good. Um, there's nothing bad I can really say about it. Um, 
would I use it again? Yes, but only in the daytime. This is not a product I would use at night. Um, I do have a, a different skincare routine for the evening. So if you want me to do that, um, just leave me some messages below and I can definitely do that for you and show you what I use at nighttime. But for a daytime cream, I think this is great. I love the way it hydrates my skin and how it preps it for makeup application. I think it's, it's really nice and it does give you a really nice glow to your skin because it is so hydrating. And lastly, is the sunblock. Like I demonstrated in my video, the way to apply sunblock is you need to lather it on. Like putting like three dots on your face and rubbing that in is not going to do anything. You need to make sure that from your face all the way down to your chest, you are covered. And you apply, like I showed, two strips of product for two for these two fingers to cover these two fingers and you apply that and you saw that my skin was really white at first when I put it on it almost looked like a mask but after you blend it in and you wait it will get absorbed into your skin and your skin will look fine and I think it's 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 really great to protect your skin because that's if you're worried about you know uh, aging prematurely UV UV damage is one of the top things that will along with diet and other things and genetics but you know if you can help prevent it sunblock is the number one thing you can use. And I do really like this one by Dermalogica. There are several ones I've tried before, but this one I feel works really well with makeup. Um, the way it dries into your skin, it really helps with makeup application, which I love. And it also gives you a nice glow to your skin. So I am all about having a nice little glow um, and uh, without looking super greasy. So I really like this. And lastly, um, for your nice photos for Instagram, there's literally no flashback with this, so love it. Um, when it comes to taking care of your skin, I think it's very important to start as early as possible. Um, in my 20s, I was not very good with my skin, so I'm kind of trying to, to prevent more damage now in my 30s. Um, I really like the products that I'm using right now. I think they're great. I try to not overcomplicate my routine. I used to have like eight different things I would put on my face and it got to the point where I was just like, I can't, this is too much. So I just reduced it down to the bare essentials. Well, at least in my opinion, the bare essentials for my skincare routine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments uh, down below in the comment section and let me know what videos you'd like me to do next um, and i'll talk to you next time thank you so much for watching bye